an AI assistant just sold a car for $1, then insisted the car buyer owed nothing more. Crazy, right? But it really happened. Today, when AI fails. Because behind all the dazzling demos and futuristic promises, there are moments when AI trips over basic stuff. Mistakes that show us its limits. We'll explore real-life AI fails that causes small blunders and some serious harm. Why do these mistakes happen? Bias, bad data, misunderstanding, overconfidence. What lessons we can learn so we don't blindly trust every AI output? Stick around. There are two funny stories you won't forget. Plus some serious takeaways. Let's go. First, let's see what kinds of failures we're talking about. So you don't think this is all sci-fi hype. Real-life AI fails. Examples that shocked. Here are several high-profile mistakes, each revealing something about where AI struggles. Tesla autopilot accidents. Self-driving or semi-autonomous driving is one of the highest stakes uses of AI. When it fails, people can get hurt. Tesla's autopilot system has been involved in multiple accidents where the AI misread road conditions, lane markers, or failed to see obstacles. Those mistakes show that real-world driving has unpredictability. Weather, occlusion, objects partially covered, sudden changes, situations not always well handled by AI. Biased hiring tools, Amazon. In 2014 to 2015, Amazon developed an AI recruiting tool to automatically evaluate resumes, but it learned from past hiring data, which was heavily male-dominated. It started to downgrade resumes that mentioned women's or disadvantaged women's colleges. Eventually, Amazon scrapped it. This shows that if training data reflects bias, the AI just absorbs bias. Medical misdiagnoses and high error in children's cases. AI in medicine holds promise. Diagnosing disease, reading x-rays, predicting risks. But it fails, too. One study found that ChatGPT wrongly diagnosed 72 out of 100 pediatric cases, almost three quarters. That's huge. In medical settings, mistakes can cost lives or cause harm. Another example, AI used to analyze chest x-rays in Finland had very high sensitivity, that is, catching dangerous findings, but low specificity for no significant findings meaning it often flagged non-problems or missed subtle issues when declaring all good. Basic math and simple tasks. Failures. Even some of the most advanced chatbots and generative models mess up simple arithmetic, decimal handling, reading charts, or word problems. For instance, Meta's AI on Instagram WhatsApp has repeatedly failed on basic math tasks, misreading decimals, or miscalculating. Hallucinations, fake legal cases, and misleading outputs. Hallucination is when an AI confidently presents false or made-up information. One lawyer in New York used ChatGPT to pull up legal precedents, but many were entirely fabricated. Wrong names, wrong case numbers. The court fined him. Also, chatbots sometimes give incorrect policy info. Air Canada's chatbot told a customer one thing about bereavement fares. It was wrong and the company had to compensate. F bias and safety issues. Deepfakes harm mental health. AI misuses can go beyond just wrong answers. For example, deepfake technology has been used to produce fake, harmful content, images, videos of minors or private individuals. One case, a teen's photos were manipulated to create non-consensual images which damaged her reputation and mental health. Similarly, tools that attempt to detect mental health issues perform worse on certain racial or ethnic groups. A study found that AI was over three times worse at spotting depression from social media posts for black Americans than for white Americans. That shows serious disparity. Why do these fails happen? What are the roots beneath the surface? Why AI makes these mistakes? Deep causes. Seeing the mistakes is one thing. Understanding why they happen is even more important. Because fixes begin here. Biased or non-representative training data. 
If the data that trains AI is skewed, overrepresents certain groups, types of content, viewpoints, the AI will carry those biases. Example, gender bias in job hiring tools. Also, visual recognition A is mislabel people of color because training sets lacked diversity, overconfidence and lack of awareness. A, I often gives answers in confident tone, even when it's totally wrong. Unlike humans, it doesn't know when it doesn't know. A Cambridge study pointed out that AI systems often are more confident than their actual accuracy justifies. Incomplete or incorrect context. AI models take cues from prompts or past data, but often miss environmental, cultural, or practical context. Something that seems fine in the training set may be wildly off in certain situations, legal, medical, cultural. Context complexity is huge in the real world. Overfitting slash memorization versus generalization. Some AI do very well on tests or data similar to their training set. But when asked to generalize, new type of problem, new format, new culture, new domain, they failed. They might memorize typical patterns rather than truly learn concepts, poorly defined objectives, misaligned incentives. When people build AI, they often focus on what's measurable or flashy rather than what's safe, fair, or ethical. For example, a chatbot designed to reduce costs might ignore complaints or safety. There are many cases where business pressures push for faster deployment at cost of robustness. Hallucination, generative AI's grand weakness. Generative AI, text or image, can invent information that seems plausible but is false. Fake references, fake facts, fake quotes. Because generative models predict what should come next in language, not necessarily what is true. Now two funny stories. Yes, even AI's fails can be hilarious. The $1 car sale. A customer used a car company's chatbot and somehow exploited a bug. The bot agreed to sell a brand new Chevrolet Tahoe for just $1, treating it like a legally binding offer. The user followed through because, in the bot's logic, that was a valid offer. Company had to correct it later. Crazy that an AI built for customer support could get tricked so badly by a user. But it shows how literal and brittle these systems are. These failures, funny or serious, teach us something important. What these mistakes reveal about the limits of AI. Let's zoom out. What do these failures show about where AI can't go, or what it isn't ready for? Lack of true understanding? AI can mimic conversation, logic, or reasoning, but it doesn't have consciousness, experiences, or intentionality. When asked about meaning, it often fails. It's great pattern matching, terrible in real semantic grounding, ethical, fairness, and social justice limitations, bias in hiring, race, gender, age, these are social problems humans already have. If AI isn't designed carefully, it will replicate or magnify them. Also, risk of misinformation, defamation, deepfakes. Legal and psychological harms are real. Difficulty in handling edge cases, novelty, rare situations. AI tends to do worse when encountering situations far outside its training examples. Weird weather, unusual dialects, legal loopholes, moral dilemmas. Humans often can generalize better from few examples or adapt on the fly. Overestimation of capabilities and misplaced trust. Because AI often outputs in persuasive, polished form, people tend to overtrust it. Lawyers using hallucinated cases, patients trusting medical advice, consumers trusting chatbots. These lead to real consequences. Math, logic, and alignment with human values. Even the best AI still has trouble ensuring that its solutions are aligned with human expectations, values, ethics. Also, cert A in mathematical limitations, as studied, paradoxes, confidence miscalibration, mean AI might not know when it's wrong. What can we do about this? Because the goal isn't to avoid building AI, but to build better AI. Lessons and what we need to do to avoid AI fails. These are not just warnings, there are ways forward. If done right, we can reduce failures and make AI more trustworthy. Better, more diverse data and bias auditing. Ensure training data includes different demographics, 
cultures, languages. Regularly test for bias. Audit AI outputs. When certain groups are underserved, the model should be fixed, not assumed, edge case. Human in the loop and oversight. Always have humans supervise critical decisions. Medical, legal, financial. Let people double check, override, AI. Humans can catch what machines miss. Robust testing, including edge and adversarial cases. Not only test on easy or typical cases, test rare, weird, or deliberately tricky inputs. Use adversarial examples, inputs designed to fool AI to find vulnerabilities. Clear objectives and realistic claims. Don't promise perfection. Be clear about what the AI can and cannot do. Avoid headlines like, AI solves everything. Under promise, over deliver. Also define success metrics beyond accuracy, fairness, safety, explainability, trust. Let's bring it all together. What have we learned? So here's a question for you. Have you ever experienced an AI fail yourself? Maybe using a chatbot, translation tool, or a virtual assistant that gave you nonsense or led you to trouble? Share your story in the comments. Let's see how universal these limits are. If you found this video useful, or you just enjoyed the weird AI stories, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our next video, where we'll talk about AI versus human memory, which is more reliable, and whether that's something to worry about. Thanks for watching, stay curious, and remember, just because something sounds confident doesn't mean it's correct.